All right, this is just a quick demonstration of how you do a flick test on a current transformer to work out its polarity using an analog meter and a DC battery. All right, as you can see, I've got some DC batteries, some DC 9 volts in here. I've got a lead that passes through the center of the CT. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to go through the center of CT. If you've got like a resin block and you've got a terminal, uh, terminal on either side, you just need to make connections from the battery to each side. On the secondary side, I've got an, an older AVO, but you can use different types of analog meters as long as they respond the same. Yeah, you can pick them up as little as $15 or even cheaper in some cases. So what I've got is I've got S1 connected through to the plus side. I've got S2 connected to the negative side of my meter. Now I've got my my red side passes through, so you can, you can follow the red, passes through P1, comes back through P2 onto my battery. So red is my positive, black is my negative. So if I flick it on, you can see it flicks over to the right hand side. Now if I have the batteries reversed, so if I reverse my positive and negative, you can see it goes to the left. So as long as you have your positive side going through P1 and then S1 going to the positive side of your meter, then you'll have an indication flick to the right. If the CT is wide backwards, but you still had all your connections correct, then you'd know the polarity of the CT is filed. Now this also helps you determine the polarity of an in-service CT if there's no markings. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button.